Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of healing. This is a card of recovering from some sort of heartbreak or disappointments in love. Um, there is an energy here of someone having had been very careless with your heart, um, but with it being in the reverse, this does show recovering from that. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Page of Cups, Water Energy, the Six of Swords, Air Energy, and the Emperor, Aries energy. So there's a card here with the Six of Swords of successfully moving forward. Um, I'm seeing you moving on to calmer waters, some sort of a recovery happening for you, especially also in, in terms of mental health. It's like you're accepting something, you're, you're healing from something and you are moving into a good place. And there's even an energy here with the Page of Cups of new, new love. Um, there could be someone new coming towards you with romantic intentions. Um, there is an energy of this person being an innocent, um, romantic type of person. This is someone who is quite sweet. And with the Page of Cups being here, it's like they've they've caught feelings for you or they have romantic feelings for you. But it does look like it's still in the development stages. It's still fresh. Um, this can be a new person. Um, but with the Emperor, it's like they, they, they have a lot of um, respect for you. This is someone who's thinking quite highly of you. In fact, they could even idealize you a bit, but this is someone who genuinely sees your worth and they see you as someone who is valuable. They see you as someone who is stable and has a lot to offer. And there's also an energy of you are this emperor energy. You are someone who has learned from what you've been through. And there's an energy of being experienced. And in this moving forward, there's an energy of being able to take the lead or to maintain your, your power in any connection here because of what you've learned and what you've been through. So I'm seeing some sort of successful um, transition happening here for you. Um, this isn't something that has happened overnight though, but it, there's this energy of being at this place where you are finding your feet again, you are stable again, and there's even new love, um, you know, new opportunities here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor again, and this is Aries energy. So there's definitely an energy here showing some sort of stability that you are attracting here. There's an energy of leveling up in your love life, having learned a lot and, you know, really having, it's like you are in a new phase, your vibration is raised. There's this energy of having been through something, but it's made you stronger and you are showing up as this integrous, knowing your worth type of energy. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the King of Cups, Water Energy, the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and we have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. So there's a connection coming towards you, a partnership, yeah, one that is equal give and take. I'm seeing you connecting with someone who's very much a romantic. This is someone who's sensitive, they're dreamy, um, and they're emotional, but they, they have a lot of control over their emotions as well. This person could have known you for a while now. It's like with the King of Cups, that's a very patient energy. So this person is like, they. this is someone you already know. Um, you may not be romantic with them yet, but there's someone here who's interested in you and they, they are holding feelings for you and there's a very patient energy on their part. This person, um, they want a partnership with you and I'm seeing this person is a generous person. They are a giver. They are a kind person. Um, they are empathetic and compassionate. 
Um, however, with the two of pentacles, you may not be noticing this person. You may be quite busy as well. You may be focused on other things. It's like this person hasn't yet caught your attention, but they 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 know you. That this person is interested in you. I'm seeing them having interest in you first. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. So the card says, work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So I'm seeing this as you having healed from something. And there's, with the Scorpio energy, is some sort of transformation. It's like you're coming out on the other side, um, a better version of yourself, stronger, more stable. There's an energy of you coming out as an emperor. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. So the card says playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit or fun to shine. So I'm seeing that page of cups energy and I'm seeing this card. Someone is, is really catching feelings for you. They are interested in you. Um, this is a very romantic kind of person. I'm seeing very genuine, um, innocent energy from them. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. So the card says nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. So there's definitely an energy of you having recovered from a situation that was supposed to break you. It's like it was, it, it, it could have broken you. It could have really damaged your self-esteem, but it's like you came out on top. There is an energy of if whoever this person was that broke your heart could see you now, they would be in awe of, you know, how you've really been able to overcome that. There's an energy of really um, not letting something bring you down. There's an energy of overcoming, coming out on top as an emperor, working through your fears, successfully moving forward with that Six of Swords energy. And you are making a lot of progress in your healing journey. And it shows there's an energy of people being impressed by you. Um, you know, people really seeing you as a strong person. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.